Hi there, Butterfield. This is Mr. Tidwell. Our parent-teacher conferences are this week. This is an important moment in your child's education because it's an opportunity for you to sit with your student's teacher, learn how they're progressing academically or socially, and to also learn some things that you could do to support your student at home. I wanted to make sure that I equip you with the information necessary so that you could have a successful and effective conference this week. So I put together this video, how to make the most of parent-teacher conferences. Let's dive in. So I'm going to present this in three sections, some things that you could be doing right now to prepare for the conference, some possible things you might expect to see or hear during the conference, and then how to follow up once your meeting is over. Alrighty, on to the first part, some things that you could be doing right now uh, to prepare for your conference. Now, the first thing I would suggest is to ask your student how they feel about school. What is their favorite subject? What learning activities have been the most enjoyable? What topics might they struggle with? Or simply, what's been the most fun that they've had at school this year? You're just trying to paint a picture of your student's attitude towards school. The next thing I would suggest is to ask them if there's anything they want you to ask the teacher. Perhaps there is something that they haven't had the courage to ask, or something that they simply haven't just had the opportunity to ask. I would also suggest that you emphasize that the conference is meant to help them, because sometimes children get apprehensive about conferences. They feel like they've done something wrong or they're going to get in trouble. Be very clear, the meeting is meant to support them. And then I would make a list of topics you want to ask the teacher, just from the parent's point of view. It's a good idea to prepare a list of questions. There is no right number of questions to ask, but you want to be sure to make a list of topics that you want to bring up as a parent. So some possible questions might be, what are my student's strongest and weakest subject? Does my student um, have a behavior that you're noticing in class? Does my student participate in class? Does my student seem happy? What type of learner is my child? This might get to if your student is an independent learner or likes to work with a partnership. Maybe they're a kinesthetic learner, which means they like to move around, or they're a visual learner. And then finally, what can I do at home to help? So let's go on to what to expect when the actual conference is taking place. Now, I didn't want to assume that everyone knows what happens at a conference, so I wanted to quickly review what your teacher might speak to. If you've never been to a conference before, you might hear your teacher go over your student's progress in reading, math, writing, as well as other skills that are being taught in class. You may see reading data from our new Scholastic Reading Program. You may see math data on your student's progress in grade level math standards, and your teacher may also speak to the social growth of your student. With that in mind, be sure to be on time for the meeting, or early if you can. Be aware of the time because most certainly there's someone waiting behind you for the next kind of time slot for the teacher. And then, uh, it seems like a silly thing to say, but relax and be yourself. I think sometimes we think that these conferences are these, these formal events, but they're really just positive conversations between you and the teacher about how awesome your kid is doing and then what we can do to, um, to help them grow throughout the rest of the school year. Now, with all of that in mind, be sure to ask the most important question first. That's from that list of questions that you prepared. If your child receives special services such as speech or ELL services, make sure to ask about your child's progress in those classes. Ask for an explanation of anything you do to understand. Sometimes us educators like to get into teacher jargon um, and we'll throw out some terms that you may not know or have never heard of. So be sure to ask for some clarification if any of those terms pop out. And then obviously ask your child's teacher for ways that you can help at home. And then once it's over, be sure to thank your teacher. All right, so the conference is over, you're back home. What are our next steps? So the first thing is to talk about the conference with your child. They will surely be eager to know what you and their teacher talked about. So sit down and have a conversation about how the conference went. Tell them about the positive points and be direct about the concerns, the things that you're gonna work on throughout the school year. Tell your child about any plans you and the teacher created, such as homework time or reading time. And then finally, keep in touch with the teacher during the school year. We have lots of opportunities to keep in contact with uh, Butterfield through email and Dojo. Um, those are great tools that you can use to keep in contact with uh, your student's teacher. So if you ever have any questions this week about um, conferences, be sure to contact your teacher, or you can certainly reach out to Ms. Pierpont or myself, Mr. Tidwell. Thank you. Thank you for choosing Butterfield. And thank you for trusting us with the education of your child. 
that is a great honor for every adult on this campus. And we all love serving this community. Thank you so much. And remember, every Bobcat every day. Bye, Butterfield.